Angus Young was born on March 1955 in Glasgow, Scotland to William and Alexandra Young. He is the youngest of eight children of his parents. At age eight his parent and other three siblings, Malcolm, George and Margaret moved from Scotland to Sydney. Angus Young had his education at the Ashfield Boys High School but later dropped out to pursue music. As a beginner without funds, the instrument he started with was a banjo. Later his mother found the need to get him a guitar so bought him a second-hand acoustic guitar for practice, at this while Young had developed much interest in playing the guitar so bought a second-hand Gibson SG which was better than what his mother got him. Angus Young started his musical career with a local group Kentucky. Among the members were Bob McGlynn on vocal, John Stevens on bass and Trevor James on drums and himself. They performed together till some members broke away. The band then had a name change to Tantrum with a new member Mark Sneddon while Bob McGlynn left. Formation and career at ACDC. In 1973 Young's elder brother Malcolm formed the rock band ACDC which required Young to leave Tantrum to join as a lead guitarist. The ACDC was reached after they saw the inscription on their sister's machine. They added other members like Colin Burgess on drummer, Larry Van Creed on bass guitarist, and Dave Evans as a vocalist. Angus Young wanted to be unique among other members, so he tried costumes like the Superman, Spider-Man, Gorilla and Zorro among others on stage, but none was favorable for him. Upon his sister Margaret's advice, Angus Young settled in using school uniform which would later become his signature costume. His sister then sold him a uniform but after sometimes used his former school uniform. It was still in good condition since he didn't use it much because he dropped out of school. After coming out with the single, ACDC followed it with their debut album High Voltage in 1975. With high power and impeccable performances, the band became a household name in Australia. Their artistic display was just enough to win the hearts of hard rock fans. Other albums like Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, Let There Be Rock, Power Age and TNT were also released to further surge their popularity. With the release of the studio album Highway to Hell, Hell truly broke loose as the album became very popular and also increased their purse by becoming the best-selling album at the time. The band continued to celebrate their success and achievements until the worst happened. Bon Scott who was the lead singer and an integral member died from alcohol poisoning. The band though in sorrow recruited another lead singer former Geordie singer Brain John. ACDC came out with the tribute album Back in Black in honor of Scott. As if Scott's death was a blessing in disguise, the album was a huge success and achieving 22 platinum in the US. Not just that Back in Black sold 50 million copies become the second highest selling albums worldwide just next to Thriller by Michael Jackson. In their sorry was a success, but could that feat be maintained was a question many may have asked. Not relenting on their success ACDC released a follow-up album for those about to rock We Salute You in 1981. From that moment ACDC began to decline and even the release of albums like Fly on the Wall, Blow Up Your Video and Flick of the Switch couldn't save the sinking band not until they came up with the Razor Edge in 1990. The Razor Edge brought the band back to its feet as the famous rock band in Australia. The album sold about 12 million copies reaching 5 multi-platinum in the US. The band also released albums like Ballbreaker, Stiff Upper Lip, Black Ice and many others. ACDC has since seen most of its members retired either forcibly or on personal ground. Malcolm Young retired due to poor health. Singer Brain Johnson left on doctor's advice and drummer Phil Rudd on personal ground. 